Indianapolis, shortly after the NFL world learned several football-related measurable for Kyler Murray, Redskins head coach Jay Gruden and senior vice president of player personnel Doug Williams held separate press conferences Thursday morning. The topic of the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback's physical stature came up, as did Washington's obvious need for help under center with Alex Smith's injury. These were hardly the only matters discussed or the only folks chatting. Gruden and Williams combined spoke for around 45 minutes inside a conference room at the downtown JW. Marriott, blocks away from the Indiana Convention Center and Lucas Oil Stadium, the primary locations for the 2019 NFL Combine. Thursday also marked the first day prospects held their own press conferences. From those events came the following asterisk there's more to consider with the Redskins re-signing Adrian Peterson beyond contractual terms. Washington reportedly began talks with a future Hall of Fame and the team's leading rusher from last season. Pete Turson's addition after Darius Juice's season-ending knee injury during the preseason helped save the campaign offensively until those quarterback injuries took everyone down. The concept of pairing those two lead backs with passing down threat Chris Thompson offers great appeal. Now let's address the concern. The Redskins typically keep only three backs on the game day roster and one of those players lines up on special teams. None of those guys do that. Thompson and Peterson combined for two special team snaps last season. Washington would be crazy to expose Juice. Jay, thoughts? That's a great question and that's something you have to figure out on game day if everything works out, the head coach said. If all three are healthy and we have them all on the roster, this is a situation we're kind of guessing on. You'd like one of your backs to be able to participate on special teams some way, somehow, considering Juice is coming off a torn ACL and has never played a regular season NFL game, having a viable secondary option makes sense. That doesn't mean that person is Peterson, who turns 34 in March. Washington could always decide it will figure out special teams from other positions. Asterisk Rudin and Williams rolled out similar laundry lists of roster holes beyond quarterback, safety, inside linebacker, edge rusher, guard, wide receiver. You might be nodding along because those are the need areas. That those two agree is important because outside opinions do not always match internal thinking. Safety is a major priority for us, Gruden said as he began taking off positional weaknesses. Inside linebacker is an issue. Pass rusher with Preston Smith being a free agent is obviously a priority for us without a doubt. Offensive lineman, we already know that's a priority. We know quarterback's an issue, we know receiver is an issue, so we need to upgrade our entire roster. We're going to add players to every position, add competition, that's what's going to make us good, asterisk Rudin specifically mentioned adding a bigger receiver to the mix to join speed threat Paul Richardson. Slot receiver Jamison Crowder has another free agent, asterisk Washington arguably needs two starting safeties. Williams said the team would re-evaluate free agent haha Clinton Dix now that there are new members of the coaching staff, asterisk the Redskins need a left guard. We know this. Times over the last two seasons, it's been unclear if the Redskins agreed considering they did little to address the positional hole other than to keep trotting out injury-prone Sean Laval. That changed Thursday. When asked, Williams said he did not believe a starter existed on the roster. Asterisk Washington remains in limbo concerning ILB Reuben Foster's future, Gruden said, as the team is yet to hear from the league on whether any disciplinary actions are forthcoming. Asterisk that these needs exist is why Williams pushed back somewhat on any idea of the Redskins trading away draft selections in pursuit of a quarterback. We've got a lot more needs on this football team than to say we can give up two or three picks and pick one guy and think we're going to have the football team that we hope to have, Williams said. We have to use our picks wisely and make sure we've got guys who are coming here that can help us build this football team a lot better than it is, asterisk Washington's dicey salary cap scenario, ranked 23rd in the league with $16.7 million available, means finding ways to create more room. 
among them, extending Pro Bowl right guard and 2020 free agent Brandon Scherf. The maneuver would free more space and lock in one of the team's top players. I don't know if anybody understands the effect he has on our team when he's not playing, Gruden said of Scherf, who suffered a torn pectoral midway through last season. So he's definitely a priority, we'll get it done, asterisk, for all the hype over 40 times, bench reps and passing drills, the interview process is a crucial element of the combine process as teams receive a close-up look at the person not just the player. Dozens of these interactions will occur so no single meeting automatically means draft the interest. That said the Redskins did meet with a pair of projected top 20 selections in offensive lineman Cody Ford, Oklahoma, and Juwan Taylor, Florida. Both played tackle in college but teams are primarily viewing Ford at guard. Taylor said he wasn't sure of the Redskins' thoughts, but he was aware that tackle is not a priority. Other players that have met with the Redskins to date include Northern Illinois OT Max Sharping, Washington State running back James Williams and Alabama State OT Titus Howard. Mississippi OT Greg Little, a potential first-round pick, said he has not met with the Redskins. Same with a pair of Penn State prospects, running back Miles Sanders and offensive lineman Connor McGovern. Asterisk another media availability comes Friday morning with team president Bruce Allen. more Redskins news.